to liability, but to get in the street, okay, you need class A. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if she wants to split this up or not. I yeah. Well, because so I understand what they were saying is so that the lateral. I think what they're saying is part of hers runs. So they're basically considering this. Right. This is so. So from here on out, that is the lower lateral. Uh, right. Right. And they're saying that I don't think they had a problem with, but they're saying this is still, even though this is technically. It's like this whole length is hers, yeah. upper lateral, all of it's her responsibility, but this is still, so in other words, from here on out, oh, well, really? actually from here on out, you need a class A. Okay. Here you just need $2 million liability, but oh, you can, okay. that's the fun with all the trees, and the fact, because you're still in their, their right of way, they're not as freaked out if, like here, the good thing is, is it's all inside the sidewalk, so we're not, you, we're not talking right. about plus in the sidewalk. Right. You are dealing with talking about well, all you of could, those you trees. Well, you could probably dig under this part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. We could grab it. The only problem is, is you probably have to cut. This is the one, if I, I, th I think it's the one we were seeing, where they cracked it. Yeah, so hard. there's it's, no good way. It's really hard to see in there. Yeah, I, I got a camera, a little, too. I even have um, a little flashlight, and I couldn't yeah, see Yeah, I could throw my camera down there. It looked but like that's it. the one they cracked. I couldn't tell which one they were at, where they cracked it. Well, they're it. right here. Yeah, yeah I couldn't tell either. I said, where are you starting so, from? The guy didn't even answer me. Brian Isha, you know Brian, Brian Isha, yeah. Um, yeah, I know Brian. So... Yeah, so that's a problem. You'd still have to cut, you know, you'd probably just cut this little triangle because you to, to replace that piece, you'd have to get in here. Again, that's not class A, that's just, um, okay. you know, but the, the, the logic of cutting yeah. across to this one versus, I'm surprised she has that much drain. Let me see the depth. Let me grab my camera. Here. Um, yeah, I see what the idea of coming, coming at an angle. I was trying and to get it. Uh, I, I, I said, like this, I, like a picture here, basically. How do you get a two percent grade when the thing's going uphill? You know. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised it drops. It, it, it drops as much as it does even there, but that's why that thing's probably as deep as it is. Um, but I see the logic of just abandoning this old one, regardless of what shape it's in, because right. if it needs replaced. Now, do you do anything with that burst and pull pipe? Uh, Reinforcement thing or no okay. no we don't have that set up. Okay. It, that's you, it, there's a company out of area that you could get, but it may and that may be the problem is is that you have to be you have to be away from any other utility for that to work. Okay. That may be with this it almost might be worth it, but yeah they're saying yeah so they I'm not sure if there's anything in here you have to make sure because the problem with the first pipe matter of fact we had a potential client this woman tried to hire us to fix. What she said, a company did. I don't know if it was Rotor Root or one of those guys. Ha they they hired in. I don't even think they had their oh. own rig, but one oh, of the, okay. Okay. those guys have access or you know a, a deal with the burst, you know, the, you know the pipe burster type ones. But she was mad because they had done it up against her house where like every other utility came in. And sure enough, that that because think about how it works, right? It's basically right. you dig two trenches. You still have to dig the two trenches. Okay. And then and like there, you'd still have to replace that one. And it depends what the material is. Some places around here they used Orangeburg, which is just collapses. You can't line that. The, you can replace it, but you might not be able to get the burster through. So the burster is just this big cone-shaped end that they basically run a cable through and connect that on and then pull it through. And it goes bang, 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 and just pulls the new line behind it. So they still trench out. But the problem is, is that that has to go somewhere when right, it bursts. Right. And so if it's anywhere near, like even depending on the depth here, it could crack the sidewalk, it could crack anything. So oh. I don't know, and I don't know oh, enough. Okay. I mean, I haven't yet done it. I, I don't claim to, to know yeah. enough except to know that it's not always something you can just, you know, right, it's not yet. Right. And, and sometimes it's not cost-effective for a shorter run, this might be right at the cusp, you know, it's great if you're like going into the slab and the neighbor's house is in the way kind of thing, then awesome, you know, or like they do it all the time or they do liners in like malls and things like that where everything's under the concrete, okay. but um, this might be right at the cusp. Let me grab my camera real quick and look. told me, he said, oh, you might want to do that burst in, uh, what do they call it, burst in pipe? Yeah, uh, to get past the roots. Yeah. yeah, he might, I mean, he probably would know more, like I said, than I do. So if he, if he thinks it's an option, you guys might want to want to look into it. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, she was talking about, like, going through the yard and having, I think, her son or something do it. Right. Um, which, I mean, that is, it is true. It's like, if you can get that part of the labor done, that may still be a cheaper and better option, because, frankly, even if you put, if these trays stay, even if you redo this with with any plastic sort of material. Do you need a hand? No, it's, they're super light. Um, it's, 
if you, even if you put a new line in, right, you still have those roots there right. that can, as yeah. they grow larger, they're going to yeah. pop, exactly. pop that angle. Um, so, I mean, either getting rid of the trees or going that other route, R-O-U-T-E, not a route, yeah. <laughs> yeah. get away from the roots yeah. might, be your, might be a better option. Yeah, so anyway, that Brian, he, he, he suggested I should check into that and yeah. then the other thing, but the, the letter they sent us was like, you need to replace that line, you know? Yeah, yeah, well, especially when, if this is, if the one picture I saw, the one video that I saw, like you said, I couldn't quite tell what I was seeing, where I was seeing it, um, but uh, if, if it's where, where that crack is, because they just kept showing the crack and they sent that, they sent their little chart, which is like, you know, a 30-year-old program. I but, couldn't make heads or tails <laughs> of that thing. It kind of makes sense, but it doesn't tell you anything. They're, they're rating system, so so you can see this is... I'm gonna actually not going to zero it out, so I'm going to zero it out right here so we get this depth first of all. Okay, yeah, they didn't even show the depth on that. Uh. See, so that's... You're almost... Right there is where it's busted, huh? Yeah. See, that's where they came to clean it out, man. The guy's like, stand back. Don't get, don't stay around here. Don't stand around here. And I'm like, what? What's up? Yeah, see the back side of it there? Yeah. So, you know, so how the heck does that bust? Somebody's got to bust it. Somebody has right, to Right, either by pushing it. in too hard right. with their device. So see, that's the problem I have is I might not even, oh, okay. you I might not even be able to make the turn. Get around it, yeah. Because... Well, somebody pushed too hard to get it. Yeah, and it busted it. That's what happened. That's, that's, They're trying to get around it, and they busted it. Yeah, like, well, it could have been the end of their... It could have been the end of their jetter, or somebody hit the jetter. Maybe this was clogged up, and they... As they came, and bam. Yeah. Or, I mean, it'd be hard to do it with, like, a camera, but, like, another snake head. But, yeah, that's a problem. I can't even get my camera to take the turn oh. here because it's running through the pipe into right. the ground. I see. Um, yeah, you could cut... You see, see that. So, yeah, but that's... So, that's... That's really four feet. Let's double-check this measurement. But that makes sense. So, that's why they've got the grade, is that's, a, that's deep. So like we're coming here, let's zero it out. So this thing works by how much comes off the spool. I'm gonna zero right at ground level. Oh, I didn't want to power off. Oh, you beast. I pushed the wrong button, I shouldn't yell at you. <laughs> I bought a cheap one on eBay. I, we have a 50 footer. Uh -huh. I got a 50 footer and we hooked it to a snake and the very first lateral job we did for Eureka before we bought the $10,000 version, oh. we did with that. But it doesn't have the, the distance and this records and oh, you can upload. yeah, right. But you know, that it depends what you're, yeah. probably not, unless you're gonna get into all the other material, it's not. Um, not worth it. And even this, oh, I'm fighting with turning, okay, there, I'm gonna not push another button for a minute. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got a little 50 footer that hooks to my phone by uh -huh. Wi-Fi and all right. that, like, yeah. but we, like I said, we got, I just got a plain snake and then zip tied it to that and, and, you know, oh. the problem is, then we took it, we, I, I can't remember what we used, we like used some hex fittings or whatever to build, like this thing comes with little clip-on guides uh -huh. so that instead of like it's running like my scum on the bottom like, yeah okay right there see that transition okay it's that bad. that's going to clay okay so that's okay so starting here so so it takes a turn drops down and yeah here's your clay run oh, okay so that's the problem is is that any clay they see i could put one of my heads on there but it's probably not gonna matter too much because it's gonna be like this the rest of the way so if this is if this is like standing water it's got to like build up here until it pushes out to the other end right yeah so there, it's probable that and that's probably what they tried jetting they might have cleared some of the the debris out but I'm betting that there's still blockages, maybe some root intrusion. I didn't see them making notes about that. Cause, yeah. Run it, and I'll go get. Them. Yeah, this is just at the bottom of the pipe. This is a uh, why it's kind of building up. Sometimes we can just push a toilet paper out of the way and get a get a view. I don't know if you can see we're just uh. kind of pushing water in front of us. So that was just kind of an incidental block. I can go get one of my uh, guides too. Yeah, so see this right here? You might want to... The dark spot? Yeah, not the dark spot. See the white hanging down? Yeah. Okay, so that's a, that's a joint in the pipes, oh, okay. and the white is roots coming into it. Okay, yeah. So that's not bad, but that just shows that the joints are failed, which is not surprising. And then and then those probably... If they already, if that's what's left when they jetted it, it was probably... Those things, they just flap around, right? They're not solid yeah, enough yeah. to get hit. Even with a blade of a snake, won't necessarily zap them. So those are usually left over, but there was probably heavier roots that they blasted out of the way, is my, my guess. Yeah. So they do they would they normally go up this way with the city? The city. Well, they will. See, there's more roots. Basically, they'll do whatever if it's if it's leaking into the public area. Because it was coming out fine here. That's why I called them because I thought that was their thing, and it came out to here. Ours right. was running fine. So it's weird that they. I'm I'm a little surprised. I don't know their their policy, but that they didn't kind of uh, wash their hands of it and just say get get you know it's on your private line first. But again, if it was kind of spilling out into a public area they might have unplus the weirdness of normally i would think that this was if i didn't know it went down to there like you did i would think i mean seeing it run that way i'd be like whose property is this and you know who do we have who's supposed to fix it 
So they might have not have even their, their field technicians might not have been sure. I'm gonna just make this run to see if I can push it out of the way. But I might go get one of my guides hold this off the ground a bit so we can uh, looking at the water. goes up the hill up the hill so it has to build up pressure to go all the way up there we could theoretically dig this and then you guys would have to come in and replace the pipe is that yeah, it? yeah yeah okay and that's that's super super cost effective um because yeah i mean we have to basically i don't have a separate digging crew so anything we're okay. doing is at plumbers rates with plumbers liability yeah, and everything exactly. like that exactly um, so and it's it, not like we're excited about <laughs> yeah this is yeah so yeah a lot of people do that they'll get everything dug out and then then that then actually that makes it pretty cost effective because besides like you know besides the uh, permits and everything that the city wants the actual work if it's laid out is crack up the old pipe grab where it's coming at wherever we're hooking up to from the existing with a flexible coupler that side's going to be your biggest issue is you know because that's the part that needs replaced the most is where they broke the, the plastic which it's probably plastic pass that so you're probably still talking about digging that all up you know, including the part of the pot pavement, the sidewalk, replacing that piece and then grabbing from there and running the rest of the way and then replacing the concrete. That's where whoever's doing it is going to be spending. Yeah. And again, if they even the, the pipe busting, so I mean, for this run, you might, it might not be that cost effective, especially if you had somebody else do the labor, but I don't know what it's like digging through here, you know, yeah. going the other way, maybe. Would you try and get some sort of trencher in here to dig that? Or what do you think? No, I don't think it'll work with the roots. Okay. That's the problem. The trenchers are, gr are, are great and fast, and plus you'd have to make sure there's nothing else there, you know, obviously. You know, you'd 811 it, but... That 811, I thought they were just... The landlord said, if you call 811 and have them mark off the utilities, <laughs> they, like, took my uh, firstborn oh, to, yeah, to yeah, do yeah. that. Oh, yeah, yeah, they want to know everything about the project and everything like that. Well, also because it, they're letting... They're also... It's, it's actually good because they let all of the utilities know what's happening, so they, they kind of can respond to any anyone's any uh, particular issues Let's see, got, my, little, my other guide won't fit this one does it's a bit clearer now so that's all clay pipe right there it's all clay oh, okay yeah each of those you can see these junctions yeah there's some roots on that side and another three feet roughly Three to four feet, depending on the brand. There's another junction. More okay. little roots in there. Again, these aren't bad, but if you're telling me the city jet jetted this, that's probably why. See, there's another one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not sure exactly where, where yeah, that one's went. Yeah, that pretty clean. I saw them this, at this end, basically. Oh. See, yeah. this, that, that little bit of water, so you can see now that we're up off of it, it doesn't look as horrible as it did. It was just the, my uh, my camera actually getting stuck in that little residual water back there. might have been like a piece of toilet paper holding enough back to let it. See oh, that, that looks again. Bad. How far is that? It's about 40 feet. 40 feet? Oh, up this way? Yeah. Oh. The tree, that tree's in there. Yeah, you can, yeah. you just hear I push that little bit of toilet paper through, and now it's, or somebody flushed up till we might get yeah. a, bunch of, a bunch of flush behind us because I can hear water running. Yep. And it so, so this, this line here is clay then? That line, line's clay, yeah. Okay, and then, and it's clay going up here too. Um, up. that I can't tell because oh. this doesn't take a turn. Um, it could be, it could be metal to this point. A lot of the old ones, if this was a normal lateral, they ha they had cast underneath the house, and then they transitioned from cast to clay all the hooked together. So it could be clay down to here. I can't tell because I can't get my camera back up here. Um, but it could be clay. It could be clay down to there, and then they just switched to, to metal for this clean out, and then clay the rest of the way, obviously. So what I'm curious is if we can get down. Yeah, just lots of little minor root intrusion. Okay, here you are. 
So here's our here's their brake. This is transitioning to their their yeah. PVC. Let's let the flush go by. Oh, so it's actually building up the pressure to push. Well, it I don't know. That part of this somebody oh. flushed up in the house, so it's that's or or the washer went off or whatever. That's actually water draining past us from the house. That was that noise we could hear yeah. coming through. Which is kind of nice. It flushed everything out. That was the toilet. Yeah, good. it was good, actually. <laughs> it flushed the toilet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually pushed some of the debris I was moving around. Oh, okay. You're, so, the, you're the plumber? Yeah, yeah. So you can see where it's move, it switches to their pipe, and that's their clean out right here, the white one. There's still a lot of water there. So right under this is their brake. Let's see if we can clear this up a bit. Oh, you can find the broken pipe, huh? Well, we could, we could see that from... The clean out down there but um we're at that that's where we're at right now that's about right 70 feet so we're looking right now down at it i was trying to see because we can't go past it because the break my camera would just go straight into the dirt underneath it rather than take the turn to go out toward the, the road so fortunately i'm only 100 feet so i don't know i'm still getting caught on it oh, there we go all right so now we're past that and we're back into i think it's more clay so they might just, I swear they just, yep, that's clay. So. Hey, shut up. Go away. <laughs> you don't be barking at people. So that that's you clay out, out in the street? I, unless this is, yeah, let's, let, we'll measure this out. But uh, help me remember, about 60, 70 feet out, which, God, that's 60, 70 feet. That's where that clean out is. You can see the green. You can see the white. That looks like our clean out, but there's water there, so I can't. I can't tell, but I'm betting that's the one that's got the break in it. Yeah. But right afterwards, so you can see all this funkiness that I'm having to push past, which is all that debris from the broken pipe. And then once we get past it, if we can get past it again, we did once. No, I can't. A second ago, we were looking at more clay. God, that's annoying. Okay. You want to go flush a couple times? Or? <laughs> no, it's more the water that's sitting in the oh. in the thing. Although now, yeah, I did get a goober on my camera face. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's the break. It's hard to see with this goober, but you can see the see the side there. So we're sitting at the break. Oh, okay, that's the break. Uh huh. And if we can get past it. each time it's getting worse because it's like catching on the sides oh there i think we got it ah we did okay we're past it now look what we're back into so that's clay yeah let's make sure if we so, see a joint so uh clay or some other older yeah it's clay they're, they're they're telling us we have to replace our clay but they leave their clay right a that? lot of the city is their clay well okay. you have to replace the, you have to replace their clay is now your clay everything all the way to the main is now the homeowner's responsibility. Oh, really? Whoa. And so, yeah, you. It looks like it looks like that does is going on into the. Let's see if we can make it to the main. I don't know if I have enough line, but it doesn't matter. We're in the street now, and it's still clay. So she should talk to the city, or he. I'm not sure. I thought it was a woman's name that they were texting yeah. to, but forgive me if I've insulted. But uh, yeah, basically. You may you may want to look at if they if you're gonna have the, the lower done anyways you may get a better deal just getting a package deal from whoever's able somebody with oh, okay. class A okay um, oh. because it's yeah to break it up they'll give the only other thing is if they're demanding if if the money thing and they're demand either way is expensive but if they're demanding you fix this part you can fix this part and then you still have like a year or or two or three until they make you do the lower okay. So does that make sense? So in other words, if you, if it's if it's cost, I think it'll be cheaper to have a class A, you know, Caltrans level, basically. Not quite, but I know one guy named Don, and his crew does stuff like this. But you know, if somebody did one thing, they're probably going to be they probably give you a nice package. But if you want to delay the ten thousand dollar job and pull off the two three thousand dollar job and break it up, right? It may cost you hundreds or up to a grand later you know by the time it's all said and done but it breaks it up i'm just a renter you're just a renter okay <laughs> i don't know don't even look at me. 
Yeah, Other than you're the one that has to have it working. <laughs> so you don't want me to drop it out of service for three hours. I mean, three days. It'll be three hours. But you know what I'm saying? So there might be, uh, she might want to look into that. But especially if they're like, no, you have to fix this within a month. Well, the fifteen twenty thousand dollar job can be broken into a, a reasonable few thousand dollar job to do this part and satisfy the city and then wait to do the other to the other which I can explain to in an email I might I might get, I might take the time even though it seems like it's probably I'm probably not to I'm not not gonna be on this job if that's the most cost effective but I mean we could do that like we or somebody could anybody could replace you know any decent pl plumber that's got the the liability to, to work in there their right away Again, that just means you have a two million dollar liability, which we oh, do. Okay. Uh -huh. We can do this. Okay. We can we can even replace that one. We can't go into the road. Okay. So, um, and again, what they'll they'll do it just depends on how soon they're telling you you have to fix that. Wow, I almost got stuck coming back out. <laughs> That's scary. What broke the pipe? Is it the trees? Well, there's lots. Of, what clogged the pipe is probably the trees. The branches or the, the, roots. the roots. Yeah, yeah. You can. You can, let's see if we can find some for you to. I'm just here. Oh, I know. Well, no, that's fine. And I'm. I got the camera down here, and I'm. I'm just here doing an estimate, so it's not costing anybody besides my boss, which is my mother-in-law, <laughs> money. So, um, yeah. So you can see the roots coming in, and this is probably. I'm betting they tried to blast this out if this was where the clog was. Yeah, they had a hard, uh, really big sprayer. There. So my actual fear is that they could have somebody trying to get down into that one at five feet or starting blasting something out. They they could even been that. Yeah, they were blasting the shit out of it, and they came out twice to do it. And they had the hose with a huge, like, almost yeah, like a fire a, hydrant on the, or like a... Like yeah, a, I have like a little quarter-inch jetter I hooked mm -hmm. to our, our standard it. one. But yeah, they have the big guy. I do, I we do ours to like get grease out of small systems, but this is... Yeah. Well, you think they damaged it more? I don't know. I don't, know. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I don't want the city mad at me, but right, it, right. I don't know when it... I mean, the point is, you already had a clog, so it's like... It's also kind of hard to blame them for trying to fix what was an issue. Right, right. Um, it's a little weird because normally, like I would say, normally if this lateral was going... Oh, yeah, that's more roots. Yeah. Yeah, that's more roots coming in. So especially even after they jetted it, these really fine ones, they just kind of flap around. They don't really break. So... Um, that's not Oh, well, especially, again, you can see every three feet is a new section. There's a new section. More roots. And they held them together with mortar, which in Humboldt County, even if you didn't have trees pushing them around, the first 2.0 earthquake yeah, breaks yeah. it. So, oh, yeah. And the thing about the roots are like water and nutrients from the poop, you know? So they're like, right. <laughs> yeah. I'm in, I found heaven. <laughs> right. Oh, that goes a big patch, too. Yeah. That might have been a lot of to toilet paper, too, but. Yep. So yeah, it kind of depends what the city's doing. So I'll I'll, I'll send you. I'm assuming you got some pictures or a video, and um, I'm not kind of send them an email. So let me see if I got this straight. So basically, you could do everything up to that joint up there. Is that correct? Or because they said that uh, you would need a what do they call it? A class A. Uh, well, that they uh, actually said uh, something like easement a, permit. Easement permit. Yeah. yeah. Easement. We could pull easement permits, but once you get into the road, that's when you yeah, need the fancy yeah. class A, and we can't touch it. Okay. So we could replace that piece and everything back to here again. Oh, the option of going through there. That would be less of a slant too. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You're yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, I mean, really, if you guys, if they were doing the digging, it's mainly what that's going to take the same amount of work no matter which way you do it. So it's not going to change. My, it wouldn't change my bid unless so. And then, and I honestly couldn't even do an. I don't want to try to do an estimate for what it would cost to dig through here with our crew. At yeah. $115 a man. Right. <laughs> and they're not knowing what roots. I mean, you'd be here with a chainsaw. Right. Um, so you're you're basically saying we should dig the trench and you would do the work? That, well, I'm just saying that option. It was mentioned. She mentioned it at the sunlight. 